So let's try to balance this uh, redox um, equation. So what we're doing here is we're oxidizing uh, cinnamol alcohol um, with Collins reagent or um, this chromium uh, six oxide reagent to cinnamaldehyde here, okay? So anyways, the one thing I want you guys to think about is since this is a redox reaction, we're going to have to break it into its two reaction components. It's reduction half reaction and it's oxidation half reaction, okay? So um, let's write those out. So. Okay, so the reduction, well, the oxidation is from the cinnamol alcohol to the cinnamaldehyde. And how do I know that really quickly? It's because I'm losing hydrogens, okay? So if I'm losing hydrogens, that means I'm getting oxidized, okay? So C9H10O. So the other portion is the reduction. So we've got CrO3. So remember in these um, balancing redox re reactions in acidic solutions, whenever we have extra oxygens, we put them as water. Balance extra oxygens. So since we've got three, I put three waters there. And remember after that, the hydrogens we balance as H plus on this side. So how many do we have? Six. So <clears throat> then the next thing we do is balance our charge. So on this side, we have plus six, plus six plus it. And on this side, we have plus three. Okay, so to balance our charges, we're going to have to add some electrons. So here we'll add three electrons. So three minus, that'll give us three plus. Three, okay? So we have balance in both atoms and charge on this reaction. Does everybody understand that? Here, we have no balance, right? So 10H is here, 8H is here. The way that we recover from that is adding H pluses, okay? So we're going to have to add two H pluses, or protons, if you like. Now the thing isn't balanced, right? We have a zero charge over here, but a plus two charge over here. So we're going to add two electrons, like that. Everybody should be cool with that. So now what we're going to do is we've got to balance the number of electrons to each of these. Okay, so we need to find a common factor. So this one has three electrons, and this one has two. So we're going to multiply this one by two and this one by three, okay? Giving us six electrons in each one of those. Is that okay? So let's write it out. So six electrons plus 12 protons or hydrogen ions plus two chromium oxides goes to two chromium three ions plus six waters. Okay. And then this one's three.
like that. Everybody okay with that? So remember, now what we can do, I'm going to erase the initial reaction. So now what we do to write the overall reaction is to cancel out things that are on both sides of the reaction. So you see here, we've got the six electrons on both sides. That's the thing you're used to canceling out. But in this case, hopefully you see we've got six H pluses here and 12 H pluses here. So what we're going to do in this case is cancel out that six H plus and make that a six. Okay, does that make sense? And now we're just going to combine the overall reaction. So we got the overall reaction is going to be 6H plus AQ plus 2CrO3 AQ plus 3C9H10 8 O sorry O goes to 2Cr plus aqueous plus 6H2O liquid plus 3C9H8O8. So that is the overall balanced redox equation for the oxidation using Collins reagent. Does it make sense to you guys? Okay. So remember, balance atoms, then charge, then push them together. Okay? Good job, guys.